Hey guys and welcome back to another architectural drawing tutorial. My name is Alex and on this channel I share digital drawing tips and techniques to help architects to draw with confidence. And in this video I thought I'll share with you how to render a plan of a small house. And this plan is taken from another video that I made on how to design a small residential house that I will link up somewhere above here. So check that video out if you're interested. And you know, the output of that video was quite a solid plan, but I think I could push it a little bit further in terms of the quality and make it more presentable. So I will use the plan created for that video as an underlay for this uh, drawing demonstration. So for this first pass I will simply be outlining the walls that I've previously drawn but this time I will be using a special brush that I've created quite recently that has a scattered effect applied. So if you'd like to check out that brush out I'll link it in the description below and it just adds a little bit more texture to the drawing and I will be using the straight line assist in the Procreate just to help me with this process. Once the walls are done, it's time to add doors and I'll do them all at once at the same time since it's very time consuming to draw doors because um, there isn't really a feature in Procreate that allows to draw a door swing very accurately. So I just have to make sure that proportionally they all look correct and I will do them all at the same time just to be more efficient with the process. Once the doors are done, it's time to add windows in a similar fashion, again using the drawing assist and the furniture. Some of the repetitive elements of furniture like the chairs can be copied and pasted to save time and to make drawing look a bit more precise. And when it comes to texture, I like to turn off the draw assist and just draw manually. And the reason for that is because one, it makes drawing look a bit more natural and two, I don't have to worry about the spacing of these tiles, for example, to be super accurate. Now, if I had to draw these with straight lines, I think the difference in the spacing between the tiles will be more noticeable than the alternative freehand drawn lines. I can then add planting into the front of the house, trees and the texture for the pavement. Now the cobblestone at the front of the house is quite repetitive so I might as well copy it over across several times just to save time and then reduce its opacity so it doesn't pop on the foreground as much. Now the, for the floorboards, I'll do them freehand as well. Again, just to make the different spacing in the floorboards less noticeable. It's very hard to make them equal without spending a bunch of time. So I'll just draw them freehand since it's also adds to the texture of the drawing. Then the color to the walls, floors, furniture and vegetation is added. I left the neighboring trees in white just for the kind of transition between what's inside the plan and what's the design proposal versus something that's just the context around it. The last thing is to add shadows, which I think is quite a cool feature that I like to add to the plants. It really adds the depth and makes the drawing more immersive. And it's also a really fun part because it's really a home run for the drawing. It takes it to the conclusion.
After I've done all the coloring, the lines are sorted and the shadows are added, I also like to add the highlights to the certain elements to make them a bit more forward, like the surface of this table. Um, I can add also the vibrance to the floorboards. The main thing with the white marker is to not overdo it because it's very easy to get obsessed with it. I think it has to be reserved to really just a few elements at the end of the drawing. I can also play with the intensity of the wall shading. I never quite know how dark or light I should go. I typically go with the light gray or even white for the walls if I have shadows because it just makes for a more contrasty drawing. But apart from that, I don't really have a strong preference. So if you guys have a strong opinion about this, then leave a comment below, like which one of these hatches do you prefer? Do you prefer black color for walls or do you guys prefer a lighter tone? If you are into architectural drawings, then I made these two other videos that I will link up over here and over here. They talk about how to take a sketch up model and render it inside the Procreate. And I encourage you to check those videos out if you are looking to improve your drawing workflow and make it more efficient and more fun as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.